Hey guys, today's video is to celebrate Pi Day. And what I'm going to be doing for it is I'm going to make another ring. So I've got this brass rod here and I'm going to try and turn it into a Pi Day themed ring or a Pi themed ring. So let's give it a shot. I started with a small section of the brass rod and began by boring out the center. I didn't have my main camera for this part, so I just got a few slow motion shots on my phone. I used the largest drill bits I had to make enough room to get the laser bit inside for the next step. This step involved making a lot of passes, taking up very small amounts each time, getting closer to the desired size. Once I had it close to the size I wanted, I did a bit of sanding to get the inside a bit smoother. You can see from this shot that I wasn't able to get all the way through the piece with the lathe bit I was using. To separate the piece I wanted, I used a small hacksaw while the lathe was running. In the future, I will just cut the right size piece on the bandsaw beforehand rather than trying to cut it to size on the lathe. I used the piece I cut off to make a ring quickly off camera. So what you're seeing now is the piece that was originally left in the lathe once I cut it in half. I took a few more passes with the lathe bit to bring the inside up to the right diameter then squared off this face of the ring. Once it was squared off, I chamfered the outer edges to make rounding them over a bit easier. Once that was done, it was back to sanding to get the inside surface nice and smooth. I had ordered some ring mandrels to make working on the outside a little easier, but they had not arrived yet when I was making this ring. So again, I used a homemade wooden mandrel to get this part done. The difference this time is that I also have a live center now, so I was able to use that to provide support at the end and also act as the wedge to expand the mandrel. As you just saw, the first time it was still not tight enough and the ring slipped off. I learned to always work back towards the lathe where the ring was supported on its end so that it didn't get pushed off again. After a couple of passes with the lathe, I had it down to the sort of dimensions I was looking for, so it was time to get sanding. Here I'm going from 240 grit sandpaper all the way up to 12,000 grit micro mesh. Without polishing the ring, it still leaves a really nice and shiny surface. You can see just how reflective it is as you can read the letters in the reflection of the ring. But as this is a pie themed ring, it was time to stamp the numbers of pie into it. I placed the ring on a dowel for this step and tried to hold it steady while I punched the numbers. I eventually found out it took a lot more than just one tap to get the number punched in properly. If I'm going to do this more in the future, I'll definitely have to make a better jig to support the ring and hold the punch in the right spot as the dowel rolled around and the numbers ended up all over the place. And now, as this is celebrating Pi Day, time to try to calculate Pi using this ring. Okay, so it's right on zero. That looks like 6.9. Then the width of the ring, 2.2. 6.9 2. 2. and 2.2. So in theory, 6.9 divided by 2.2. Okay. okay, so I'll give this a shot. What is this? Play more distance like you've done this. 2.2. Let's just get rid of the different places, so I should put it there. 69. 2.2. So we have 66, that makes 3. We have 3 remaining. Okay. There you go. So I get pi is roughly equal to 3.36. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's try that again. <laughs> pi is roughly equal to 3.136 recurring. There you go, pi calculated with a ring. 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, it was probably about as accurate as my calculation of pi that I did a couple of years ago with some confetti, but it was, you know, fun to make the ring at least. I'm definitely looking forward to trying to make some more rings in the future. I'm expecting my ring mantle should arrive hopefully in the next couple of weeks and then I'll be able to make them a bit easier and try some different styles. So anyway guys, if you like this video and want to see me make some more rings, maybe leave a comment and let me know what sort of style you want me to make. Um, I've got some ideas, but if I, anyone else has some ideas, that'd be great too. Thanks for watching.